and your schools and your churches and your organizations responded. Uh, it also just makes it, you know, understand that the idea came with 200 people and I just wanted to spend, you know, to send 200 people and then uh, just friends and family and even sponsors uh, had come through to sort of make sure that we can increase this to over 400 people. So on right now, we have 400 years. Thank you. Hi, my name is Zori Parker. I'm a freshman at Wittenberg University. I'm in SOP. It uh, stands for Shades of Pearl. It's a minority women's empowerment group, but it's not exclusively to that. Um, I just want to say thank you for coming. I'm super excited for being here um, and for you guys to see this great film about youth of today. Um, so with that said, I hope you enjoy. I'm Dr. Mary Jo Zembar. I'm the interim provost at Wittenberg, but I'm also a psychology professor there. I'm a developmental psychologist, and it's from that position that I'm happy to address you about this film. There are a number of themes in this film. If you've read the book, you already are familiar with it, but if you don't know what's in store for you, one of the themes of the film is for children to have to decide whether they're going to conform to be like everyone else, or if they're going to stay true to who they are. And so I'm glad for you to have this opportunity. I really do want to thank Dr. Julius Bailey in his role for bringing us together. I want to thank the management of Chalkers Theater up there. Let's give him a hand. For making, for making this possible. And I want to thank all of you. My name is Terry, and this is Naya, and we're from Columbus, Ohio. And what did you think of the film? What's my hope? I thought the film was amazing. I thought the story was awesome, a story of faith and courage. But I'm also more thankful that someone would place it in his heart to open this theater up for many um, young people to be able to come and see it to be inspired. I thought it was great because you should never give up on something that you believe, and you should just keep on going no matter what anyone says. I thought of the movie because I was, she was brave and that I'm happy that she tried to find her dad that people said that her dad wasn't still alive but she was still brave. What I liked about it was how she kept going to find her family even though she found her dad she still went to find Charles Wallace. How does it inspire you? Uh, to be courageous and like keep going no matter what people talk about you and everything. I love the film. I thought it was pretty adventurous. It inspired me to adventure more. It's like kind of like real life. How so? You do something good and then like the world around you will just become a better place in general. Yeah, how's it going? I mean, this is thank you for putting this event on. It was definitely a great event for the children and youth and families to be able to see themselves reflected in stories, uh, whether that be uh, film or literature as well. You know, I feel like within the 21st century, we're really coming upon a new urban cultural renaissance, and this was just the epitome of that here today. I was on spring break last week, and I was watching Good Morning America on Thursday, and Oprah was on, and Oprah gave a kid a check for $50,000 to take her neighborhood to go see the movie. Now, you know, I, I ain't no Oprah, right? But I wanted to take some kids to go see the movie, and so I thought about um, getting a, um, a, a couple hundred tickets, and then I asked some friends to help me, and before it was over, I was able to get over $400, I mean 400 tickets, uh, to, to allow children and families to come to this film. So we've had, you know, I said, we, this has been a great event that was uh, uh, extremely a part of a community. Like this community came together with corporate sponsors, uh, with personal sponsors. We had over 150 people who just gave me cash here, check here, uh, just to make this event possible. And I'm just thankful 
and uh, I'm just glad to see families here today. Back.